Welcome to WeatherGuard, I'm Alan Hall, and here at WeatherGuard, we make lightning protection easy. Three common problems with radon lightning protection, and I see this quite a bit. First one, big one, bonding and grounding. I know it comes up a lot, we see it in a lot of specs. What does it mean and how do I implement it on my radium? From a lightning protection standpoint, you want to have pieces of metal or framework that can carry the lightning current. And a lot of times I see on the exterior of the radon, we've done a very good job of carrying the current. Once it gets to structure, you start using too small bond straps or there's the, the little metal fittings haven't been properly prepared for bonding so there's no current path through them and bad stuff happens. So when I shove a bunch of current through those small pieces, they tend to explode, cause a lot of damage. So the outside of radon looks great, but the inside is a mess. Uh, very common problem that, that we see quite often and we try to design not just the outside of the radon, but we also need to design the ground paths inside the radon. The second most common problem is how to install the lightning protection system on the outside of the radon. Like what do I need to do? Do I need to seal the edges? Do I paint over the thing? What does that look like? And we can walk our design engineers, the customers we work with, we will walk through that very specifically, but a simple answer goes like this. Don't paint over strike tape. Don't paint over metal bars if you can avoid it. Uh, it does cause some minimal degradation and it doesn't look good over time. Uh, from an from a overall system standpoint, you want to seal everything on the outside, much like you seal everything else on the aircraft. You want to provide some sealant, some aerodynamic uh, fairing into those parts. Make sure everything's aerodynamically smooth and we don't have any rough edges that could create problems later on. The third thing that we need to think about and tends to be common problems are how is this radon going to fail? Most common failure to radon is not necessarily lightning protection. Bird strikes are a big one, right? Taking a bird is a very common thing on especially larger aircraft. But the most common problem is water, getting water inside the radome. How can we mitigate that? And from a lightning protection standpoint, we should be designing the system to not penetrate through the radome, or if we do have to penetrate through the radome, we do it in very minimal areas and we seal the heck out of those areas so we don't have water getting into the radome structure. Those are three very common types of radome problems, radome design problems. There are a couple others and we can walk you through those because we want your radome design to be successful. And here at WeatherGuard, we've been doing lightning protection for a long time. If you need help with your radome lightning protection system, please give us a call today.